Hi everyone, it is me, Plantain Sholene, and today I am doing a video about an unboxing from Gabriella Plants. I have not ordered from them in a while, so I'm very excited to share the plants that I received. <music> Before I show you the first plant, I want to say if this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for picking my video. And if you're returning, thank you as well, because I always appreciate that people come back to see what I'm talking about. Yay! So the first plant I am going to bring to your attention is my lemon lime philodendron that um, I've been trying to find it. It's been sold out so much. That's the problem when a plant either becomes popular or trending and it becomes hard to find and then the price goes up. This cost me $15. It's in a uh, four inch pot. I have it in my little cash pile. Um, and I want to purchase it again from which was my original plan was from Plant Arena but it sold out so daggone fast and it's not back up yet so I'm going to go on her site today and see if it's there and I think I'm going to give this one away to one of my sisters so they'll be happy I know if I give it to one I'm going to have to give it to the other so <laughs> that's going to be a problem because this plant is already sold out too on Gabriella's site Gabriella Plants site. So there it is. If you don't know much about this plant, it's very similar to uh, other vining plants as far as it propagates easily. You cut it right below the node. You see that node there? And a root will start to shoot out. I think that is an aerial root that I can see there. Um, or, you know, you can. You cut it below the nut. And then stick it in water or dirt and it will root. It roots quickly. This plant would receive more light than the green version, the dark green version, because of that neon, sorry, lime light, lemon lime color. You really want it to stand out the light. Not like afternoon sun beaming down on it. No, no, no. That will burn these poor little leaves. But you do want to give it some nice indirect sunlight so that you can get this nice color. Because this looks so pretty to me. This is really what draws me into this plant. Between this one and the neon, I really, really like the, um, the color of the leaves. I like bringing color into the home. Even though it's a green, but it's not dark green. So, um... It's viney like I noted. It grows quickly. And you definitely want to let this dry out before you water it again. If you overwater it, you will get root rot and this plant will save. Peace out. So there it is. My lemon lime philodendron that I know I will be giving away to one of my siblings. One of my younger sisters. <sighs> When they see this video, they're going to call me and say, why you ain't give it to me? Whatever one that doesn't get it, they're going to be like, why didn't you give it to me? Okay, so the second plant I'm going to show you guys um, is also a philodendron, but I know I'm not going to say it right. Maybe I will. So it's the philodendron wind envy. I'll put it at the bottom so you guys can see it, but here it is. I like this plant even more now that I see it in person than I did seeing it on their site. I love how these leaves are long and slim and how it's nice and bushy. I always like a bushy plant more than like a kind of sparse, spacey, leggy looking plant. Um... It's also in a four inch pot. This is 
my personal pot and this plant I really don't know that much about um, usually most philodendrons that I'm aware of have um, sorry have um, a need to dry out before watering it again I'm not sure of lighting um, I'm not sure of humidity I'm not sure of pest I'm not sure of anything with this plant I tend to buy plants based on what I visually am attracted to and this was one of them so I'm gonna do a little research and find out what this plant what this plant likes if I remember I will put it up here on the screen after I do some research and find out what this plant needs to be um, the type of care that it needs okay so there it is it is the philodendron wind and bee y'all know I don't pronounce the words right okay the third and last plant because I'm I did buy three um, is the Musa little prince so here it is this one I don't know if it is or if it's not when I first saw it I actually thought it was a banana plant and it could be in that that's just another name for it but that's what made me want to get it is because I thought it was a banana plant and I eyed this plant for some time and I kept saying I'll wait till next time and then finally next time actually was a reality and I purchased it it too was in a four inch pot this is my pot that it's inside of I'm so happy that it fit perfectly um, in these pots because that made my life easy um, I don't know much about this plant either again I purchase plants a lot of the time based on the visual attraction of the plant that I have I will also do some research on this plant and then I will put it up here on the screen so you guys can see what the plant care is with these dark green leaves which are a nice size um, I'm assuming that it could use more light to keep that dark green color possibly the less light it gets the less the green is um, strong like this it probably will fade out the leaves have a velvety feel to it and kind of a look as well um, you can see the stem is very thick I watered it because it was looking pitiful like some of the leaves did not come here looking the greatest I don't know <laughs> anything else to tell you other than I like this plant and that's why I own it so there it is guys my three plants that I ordered I do want to do a non shameless shout out to one of my friends who I'm wearing his shirt read or else okay check him out on his site Ooh, it's on the back of the shirt did you guys see that that wasn't clear so the site is readorelse.com. Check him out. His name is Tyrone Allen Jackson. Tyrone, is that your middle name? And anywho, he writes some great children's books. Um, if there's a child out there that you want to give a book to, please check his site out. Again, readorelse.com. So thank you everybody for watching my video. I hope you comment, like, subscribe, click the bell to know when a new video is coming out. And as always, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, keep planting. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.